here in my garage, I just picked up 35 pounds of Pecani rock. But you know what I like more than materialistic things is knowledge. You know, the great Warren Buffett, he reads a book a day. I really don't like reading, but I do watch about three hours of YouTube videos a day. And I bought this as a reminder, a reminder of how bad my life sucked. It wasn't too long ago. I lived in a trailer park, had $47 in my bank account, and uh, I had a reef tank with tons of Aptasia and flatworms and mantis shrimp. Here we are, Pukani Rock from Bull Creek Supply. Let's unbox this. I saw one rock, so it's a partial unboxing. This is the ugliest fucking rock I've ever seen. It's like a round. You get bashed against something. This stuff is ungodly light. So this piece, it's unusual, I'll say that, oh, this freaking stuff is light, or I'm very strong, yeah it's probably very light, oh this one, what, this one's huge, I didn't want big rocks, Next, damn it, stay. Uh, well, you know, for my reefer, this stuff might work. You know, I can build something beautiful, I guess. I can tell right away versus a reef saver rock. This stuff, it obviously it's more lighter, more lighter, it's lighter. The Reef Saver Rock was so easy to escape with. So easy. It just locked in together. Heavier, not as porous, but you know, I'm sure you've seen some other videos. This one's kind of cool. Oh, I think I could just freaking Hi! Cut my hand up. Okay. Type pieces. So with these, it, there goes my voice. With these, um, the way this kind of grows, I think it looks better when people kind of maybe cut the bottom so it's flat and kind of put it that way. Well, I don't like overhangs too much, but um, versus you know people doing this like reverse pyramid thing like that. It just looks weird. I'm like, okay, it's an upside down dead coral in your tank. Why is it upside down? Here's something here. What is that? What the frick is this? Like a dead starfish leg or something? Stick, I don't know. Sorry, it's easy to look at the rock that's looking through my phone at the rock. Sorry, I can't video and do this at the same time. You know, the structure is actually pretty cool with this rock. I like how I said, I don't like when people stack it that way and I stack it that way. You know, it's a preference. You know, I like a lot of rocks. I think a lot of people kind of do. Um, you set up your tank and there's no coral, so you just freaking put tons of rocks and all this kind of stuff. And it's crazy how crumbly this is. I would be careful putting this stuff in your tank. You know, like not doing it one handed, and you know, it could just like maybe fall apart. That's why I like kind of draping a towel over it while I place rocks inside. 
You know what? What is this a freaking petrified coconut or something? This thing's ugly. God. Why would they send that? Did they honestly think, hey, wow, someone's gonna think this is attractive. Another little piece. I can make like a little foot here or something like that. And there's some rubble, which is good. So with rubble, you're not gonna use it. Throw it in your sump. Just because you know it's good later on, you have some rock to use to mount a frag on, and then you can, you know, glue it somewhere else. Um, you know, I, I had a bunch of frag rocks, um, you know, in a Ziploc bag, and at one point in time, I'm like, oh shoot, I need frag plugs, and this is what I was gonna use. I, I, I just soaked them in vinegar. Uh, I didn't have any crazy issue with my tank. You know, it's just a couple things, but if you have like some larger pieces like this and it's not cured and you're gonna just throw in the tank, not good. Someone else I know mentioned he had some rock that was out of the tank and he was gonna put it back in. So he put it in the back of his toilet in the tank. He divided it in the couple of houses or the couple of bathrooms of his house because he had kids and, you know, they flush the toilet quite a bit. So, you know, it's just rinsing the rock multiple times a day however you know if you use little bleached things and deodorizers in the back tank you know i probably wouldn't do that but you know obviously this i think this will be enough a good size rock this is 30 pounds for the reefer 250. And i just kind of threw this up just like this i really put no thought into it and like i said you know this looks pretty cool this is going to be easy to obfuscate too. Maybe I'm just such a talented artist. I've done this a couple times. Okay, maybe I'm not going to do it like this, but you know, create a little bit more. But I mean, there's caves here. It seems relatively stable. I'm not going to do this. I can. something like that. I don't know. I'll cut it so I can stack it better. Freaking iPhone. Not enough camera space. Whatever. And my GoPro is kind of jacked. It's not a GoPro. It's an action cam. I bought it from China for 75 bucks. That thing is junk. Um, but so, you know, like with this here, it is very dirty. I, I knew that in advance. Um, no surprise. Big deal. It does have to be cured. I'm going to throw it in a, a brew container. I'm not going to use acid. Some people do, some people don't. Um, if you don't, it, it's just going to take a while for things to break down and maybe take longer to cycle. I bought bottled bacteria. I'm going to use a weak acid. I'm going to use vinegar. Vinegar, some water. Maybe let it soak for a day or two. Um, eat some of the stuff off and well, not literally eat this stuff off, but I mean like the acid or the vinegar will kind of break some of the stuff down. I'll dump that out. I'll mix some seawater. Throw my pumps on, let, let that do its magic. And after a couple days when things start raising a little bit as far as ammonia and stuff, I'll dump the bottled bacteria in and uh, go from there. So if you check this out, that light color stuff right up here, right there. Um, right up here it was either some sponge or sps or thick coralline or something growing on there that's pretty cool i still don't know about this one really a round freaking rock i wonder if it's like a geode i can smash it and there'll be crystals inside for being a round rock, this does have some cool kind of structure. There's like a dead mollusk or something there. And there's pieces of sponge all over this. All this little detail here. So maybe if I just kind of dremel this or freaking whack it with the screwdriver, you know. Just kind of shape it a little bit, I can turn it into something freaking magical. It'll probably be my favorite rock of the tank, go figure. All right, so I'm gonna soak this in vinegar. 
for maybe a couple days and then take the stuff out, maybe shape it a little bit more, come up with a scape, take some pictures. And then, you know, I can break the rock up and then put it in salt water and cycle it again. So, well, not cycle it again, but cycle it.